Hi guys, so today I'm going to uh, start some of the reviews for the new Diamond Press items that they have brought to HSN. These items will be for the March 2nd uh, craft day. Uh, having said that, I'm not sure if these items are quite yet on the um, site because full disclosure I have to kind of start recording them a little bit early to have them ready for you guys. So um, if I have any links in the description box, they will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And these items were sent free of charge. Uh, from Diamond Press um, for my review and of course all opinions are my own. So I just want to make sure that it's very clear that these items are on, will be on hsn.com. I know when uh, Diamond Press launched some new things on their site people had some questions, a lot of questions on where they were going to be. Um, so yes, uh, Diamond Press does have their own site, uh, mydiamondpress.com. Um, again, you have the code 20% off every day there, VCDP, that is the affiliate code. Um, but that does not work on HSN. I don't have the kind of pool that you would think that I would have an HSN to get a 20% off discount code every day. So that's a different thing. So these are items for the HSN craft day. Again, um, they do sometimes release items early or, you know, on the craft day itself, of course. So, um, keep an eye out for them. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are card kits and that's a new thing for Diamond Press to get into. So let me open these up because these are the packages that they come in. Of course, you're not seeing the actual pretty boxes. I believe they come in a uh, carrier box. If you guys saw the uh, live with um, Beth on Facebook on the 25th, you might have seen a sneak peek of them. Um, they did run out on YouTube too, so hopefully that's something they'll continue doing because I know my YouTube gals were like all over that and it's always fun to just be in the chat on both sites, but um, you know, my preference also is uh, YouTube. So <laughs> here we are. Um, so this is the kit. Uh, let me see. It's called Best Wishes, but this is the 5x7 kit, okay? So let me open this up. This is such a pretty box, and of course you can reuse the box, but let me get this open. And so what I've seen, like, in the email blast and the little peek I saw before, look how pretty this is. Just love the colors on it. Really uh, simple and gorgeous. Um, open it up. Aww. Uh -huh. The first thing I saw on the top here. Be the reason someone smiles today. This, I love this just for the box already. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a simple gal, okay? <laughs> like, that's really pretty. I'll put that to the side there. Um, really nice weight box. Um, it has card ideas right on the top here, and as you can see, really nice images, really nice big images. And just a couple of ways of layering up what's in here, and it says it has 24 A2 cards for each of each design. The other box is a slimline set, so I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, three sticker sheets, uh, of course the envelopes to coordinate there. 80 rhinestones, you know, paper twine, die cut toppers, 24 felt die cuts, uh, again 24 of the mini clothes, bleh, clothes pins. I was going to say wood clothes pins and... Anyway, wood veneers, uh, clear stamps, and then of course the storage box. So let's open this up. How pretty. I love the way it's all organized in here. You can pop it right back in here because it has a nice sturdy um, plastic base here. Again, nice sturdy box. So, um, well, let's, okay, let's look at the card bases first, then we'll go to the other. Oh, I picked up the stickers along with that. So the envelopes and the cards are in here. Yay! Let's wait till we get over here. Oh, this is so great. So, okay, um, so I know uh, Beth had mentioned Shane, who is the, uh, I suppose, owner and operator of Diamond Press, and usually I say my contact, but it's usually Shane who I speak with, had asked about um, this kind of thing, and they said, you know, I love this kind of card kit. Um, I hadn't seen what they were going to pull together, but I, I requested not to be shiny, <laughs> and I know that seems like not a big de a deal, but uh, it's one of my pet peeves. I don't know why with the shiny toppers. It's okay, but it's not my favorite, and... Um, and then I hear that from a lot of you guys too. A lot of times when I mention that when I'm looking at other items, I'm like, oh, this is, you know, it's, it's cute, but I, I don't like that little shiny kind of paper. And I can see that this is a nice matte paper. So I love that already. Uh, I know that's a little, little pet peeve of mine. And then I just, I love to see that um, these are nice and matte. And so look at the little flowers on here. What's really sweet is that they go back, everything goes back to the um, box here. Um, okay, again, five by seven. And then this one here has like a peach tone to it with the pretty white flowers. And um, there are, I believe, four of each. Yeah, this one has little peach kind of dots. Really sweet. I think the paper itself is a little bit off-white also. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I have a piece of white paper. As you can see, it's a little bit like a dusty color. And then this one here is exactly the same as the box. <laughs> That's really cute. And it's all around the, the card. 
oh, like a little purple gingham, a little bit more artsy, a little bit more fun. It has some movement to it. It's kind of watercolored, you know? And then the wood, which we saw kind of on the um, example there. Love that. So cute. Okay, so there's four of each of those. And then the envelopes. Um, stickers. Again, stickers you can put on the card itself. You can put them on the envelopes. Let's check this out. Sorry, my phone was going off. Okay, we have congratulations. Thank you so very much. It's your day again. Nice matte feel. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, you are so kind. Thank you for being my friend. And hello, thinking of you. Best wishes to you. All very sweet. Nice size. Um, okay, oh, you know, I moved these over just to show you guys those other toppers. But look at this. Little felt pieces. Oh my goodness. How cute are these? Look at the little flowers. So we have flowers in different shades here. Different colors, I guess, not really shades. And then we have these guys. Love it. Little die cut flowers, ready to go. And then some little sprigs and uh, blue sprigs, plenty of those. And then our toppers, ooh, the stamps. So cool. I always like when there's something that after you use something up, you still have something you can use. Again, the box, the stamps, things like that. Um, so we have another little topper that looks like there are maybe four of each. And this one here would be lovely to stamp in. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Use one of the kind that we can stamp on. And we have this cute little square and this little guy. Again, pop a sticker right on there, you know, however you wanna do it for a quick card. Um, and then we have our stamps here. Thank you, hello friend, hello, thank you, and then our little swirls. Love that. You know, I'll just pop these back in. Usually I put everything back in the plastic bags because I have like that kind of, that's what I do, but um, <laughs> I'll pop those in there, it'll be okay. Aw, look at the little clothespins. And the lavender, the blue, kind of a goldenrod yellow and the red. Super cute. And then the wood veneers, this is really fun. This is the kind of thing you can get a little artsier with if you'd like. You can even paint them, color them, however you like. Look at that, the little trio of flowers, the little sprig. Love it. Oh, and then the little word love. I really like this with the little banner. So cute. So these are the kind of things that I haven't really used before, so I always like when it's something, something different. And then we have our twine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never saw the size of those. They're good size. Okay. So of course we have our beautiful twines and, um, uh, you know, the kind of rattan, kind of basic brown kind of color or natural color, I suppose, like straw. The blue, the lighter blue, of course, a yellow, that little lavender and the red. I love the colors they put together because honestly, I wouldn't put these together. I wouldn't think to do that and they look really pretty. So I like that. And then we have all of these big guys and little guys. How cute is that? This is a good size hole. You can kind of see comparison to my hand here. Did I go through everything? Okay, so that is the five by seven kit. Let me bring out the um, slimline kit. We'll go through it and then we'll put some things together. Okay. So this one is a little bigger, I think. The box seems a little bigger. Maybe it's just me. Let me get this away from y'all so you don't have to hear all that plastic. Oh, and I love the flowers. I love the yellow bottom. Oh, let's see what this one says. It says, what is done with love is done well. Oh, that's so sweet. Mints and Van Gogh. I'm telling you, you know what? Is that casting in too much of a shadow maybe there? There we go. Okay. I hope that's okay. All right, here's our um, idea sheet with the information. Ugh, love it. Again, slimline. You can see they have little wooden things. So you have your little felt pieces. There's another little idea. Maybe you want to put your little twine around there. And then your hello love. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I'm definitely using the clothespin on one of these because I want to um, show you kind of just, just a little something you would add. So we have 24 slimline cards, three of each design. We have 24 slimline envelopes, the sticker sheets, the 80 rhinestones, the paper twine, the die cut toppers, your felt die cuts. Uh, the clothes pins, the wood veneers, uh, a, a different set of clear stamps, and the storage box. Oh, how cute! So they remove that. Very springy. I was curious about the envelopes because I saw in there that they have the colors on them. So the other one had all white envelopes, and this one has these envelopes here. Uh, oh, that's what I thought on the very top. I'm like, is that vellum? Because you can kind of see through the, that one there. I love that. So we have the kind of coral envelopes. We have vellum envelopes which is really beautiful. And then we have the uh, kind of like very light, I wanna say Robin's egg, but even lighter than that, very pretty. I'll bring this out just to have these over here. And then we have our card bases and all sorts of uh, 
gingham and dots it looks like so we have the purple kind of a dusty blue peachy really nice green uh, light blue pink yellow and another kind of a little deeper peachy coral color love it and if you guys want to know the size that they have for slimline is three and a half by eight and a half perfect that's my sizing that's what I like in a slimline all right let's see okay the colors are bright look at how cute oh my gosh these are a little brighter tones here okay so you saw the little leaves popped in here plenty of those and then all these cute little different size little posy flowers you know I call them posies when they're just like like a doodle almost you know so you have like a pink the yellow with the light blue the lavender ones white ones are really sweet light blue and the larger that's a different light blue than this one here um pink and then a lighter pink really sweet really cute I put those to the side for now and then we have our stamp set I love the font on that love you and there's two separate words which is really cool uh hello friend thinking of you we have thanks and then a couple little like posy flowers there oh i'm gonna drop one of these guys okay. so we have our die cut toppers ready to go again that nice matte paper i love it <laughs> and then here's this with the little kind of little frills around the edge here um a cute cute area just to stamp in all of these uh, look at that it's lovely or to build the toppers up on top of that. And then we have these guys. And of course you can always mix and match this with the stuff that you have in your stash already too. Let me put this here, put those there. Plenty to work with. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty to have to use on other cards and other projects. We have the um, little hangers or clothespins. Uh, they are different colors than the other ones. These are yellow and green and light blue and like a pink, very light pink. Let's look at our little wood veneers. So sweet. So we have our thanks and love. And then our little flowers that really just echo. They're all about the, like the same kind of uh, flower, which is really sweet. Um, okay, thanks and then love. So there's four of each of those. I'm gonna put this back in here for now. And then we have, um, oh, this is cool. So this one's a little bit different in that it has the uh, twine on the top here. So, uh, and they are paper twine, it says. Um, I was gonna say, it's kind of like Raffi, like twisted. It's pretty cool. So light pink, a yellow, light blue, more of a teal color. And then this green and the white one are straighter, flatter types. I don't know if you can see it. It's almost like a ribbon. And then these guys right here, big gems and all sorts of different colors really cute so oh let me show you the stickers one more thing <laughs> uh i was gonna say let me put these things to the side and choose some different items from each kit to put together some cards but let me show you here we have hello hey girl you are loved uh you're so sweet love you hope you have a great day and you are loved and dream big and you and me very sweet okay so i'll start with the five by seven kit and then we'll come back to the slim line and we'll work with both of them i'll be right back okay guys so from the five by seven kit you know i have to use this one here with all the little flowers so i'm going to take this card and base. so the way i'll build this up is kind of think about what topper i want to use and then how we can kind of go around that you know you have your card ideas here um to kind of help you think about layering maybe adding some of the other pieces you know all that kind of stuff um so i was kind of looking at the toppers here i think i do want to do some stamping um of course in this I'm gonna use this blue one, just cause the flowers can pop on their own in the back and that blue one can do its own thing. And then uh, I'll get the stamp set out. So we'll stamp something on there. Hmm. Maybe we'll do hello friend. Yeah, we'll do this one. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second. Well, you know, actually let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, complete that topper just so we have it ready to go and then we'll keep building from there so I'm going to use this and since this is a darker background I think what I'm going to do is um stamp it in opaque pigment ink this is a uh, white ink and then I will seal that because it's pigment ink um with some clear embossing powder so let me get that going. Let's get this. We need a stamping block. Oh, you know what? I'll also use a, a precision 
tool just so I stamp it in the right spot. But again, if you have something you can see through really well, you can just stamp it and it should be fine. So let's do this guy. I'm just looking to see if it's relatively straight. I'm using this bottom edge to kind of see that. And pigment inks, you really want that to really get on there. So I'm going to dab, dab, dab quite a bit. I may have to use a white embossing powder, to be honest. Sometimes what happens with, white, especially white pigment, you see that? It doesn't really do much. Let me grab, okay, got it right here. And that is very typical of white and cream pigment ink, so you have to find a really, really, really great quality one. That one did not work out so well. And you can keep trying to build it up, but a lot of times it still just wants to suck into your paper, so that's not the best. So what I'm going to do is just clean up the little extra bits and hit this with a heat tool and I'll be right back. Okay, we got that. Now, if I had known I was going to end up using white uh, pigment powder, I would have used my embossing buddy. It looks like this. It's just a little thing. You can use cornstarch or anything like that just to rub it down first before you stamp because it helps the um, embossing powder not stick where you don't want it, right? You want to stick on the... the um, ink but oh well all right so here we have that very pretty and okay so I'm just gonna build up around it basically let's see and tuck some things in and I'm just gonna grab whatever oh a red flower that'll be a cute pop of color and I try to do the thing with the groups of three or just whatever I think. Maybe we need some of this pretty stuff. Something like that. I'm not going to keep it exactly like this. I'll just play with it a little bit. And maybe to round that out, another one of these blue guys over here. Something like that. Looks pretty good. Let's see what I was thinking about using these little guys. You can just put it wherever. It's just a little accent piece, or you can even just put it on something like that, you know? Uh, so I'll keep this one out just in case. And then I have twines, I have a wood piece, I have all these other things. Hmm. Okay, something like that. Let me grab some glue. Let me think about what it is I want to do for glue to help, you know, hold this down. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I really like what the pieces are. So I'm going to glue these down. And I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue because I know they works really well with um, felt pieces. So I'll just kind of... Gently remove these and stick them back down. And, you know, as much or as little glue as you like, you like to have a little bit of movement, you don't have to glue the whole thing down. You can just put some glue and then let it kind of move so when the card is picked up and things, it moves around. That's fine. Just have a little movement to it. And just trying to see, you know, these are pretty much the same on either side, so just pick the side that you like, but um, just trying to see which side should look, would look possibly a little better. Let me bring this back. And I do want it so that I can put like a little gem in these guys. So there. I like where this guy's at. And a little glue all over. And like in here. And I'll pop this back on here. Something like that. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to set up for a minute and then I think we'll do some 
uh, gemstones and uh, finish it up. Oops, sorry about that. All right, we have this, and what I'm going to do is just add a few little rhinestones. Um, they do have a sticky back, but I might um, add some glue anyway, just just to make sure that we're going to have a good adherence here to our felt. So I'll just do that and choose a few of them. I'll probably put a red one over here, I'm sorry, a yellowish one over here, and then I'll pick like a one to go in the center of the blue, and I'll be right back. So sweet. Okay, so I have my little topper here, and I think what I want to do is make it look like it's hanging on a line or something, so I'm going to use two of these. And I'm going to take some of this twine. I was just wondering how I want to finish it off. Um, let me just cut a piece off here. And on either end, I think I'm just going to do a little knot. I would normally do like a little bow, but this is uh, a paper twine, so I don't want to unravel it too much. So I'm just going to do like a little a little knot like that on either end. And I'll be right back. So if you don't want it, you can definitely, I put some dimensional adhesive on the back of this just to have it ready. I haven't taken the carrier off yet. You can just pop that on there. Sweet little card. And I'm just going to do this to have some fun with it. So uh, we're just going to put this on here. And I suppose I can put the twine in that little spot. So cute. And then I'll hold on to our little sign. And I'll adjust that was as needed. Again, right through there. And then I'll on here. And you can do a little sideways, however you want, just to make it look super cute. And if I have this here... Trying to see where I want to end up with these guys. Something like that. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to take the backs off of this. And I'm just going to eyeball this from the top here. So cute, and to be honest, I could just leave it like that. I mean, you don't even have to glue that down, but if you want to, um, you can just put a little dab of glue and hold that little knot down. I'll do the same thing on the other side, and I will be right back. So there it is, a sweet little card with lots of little accents and fun things going on. Look at that. All right, guys, let's get into the slimline. Okay, for our slimline, I already made a few choices, um, just because I know the video is probably pretty long already by now, showing everything that was in there, jam-packed. Uh, I'm going to use the gingham uh, card base and this guy, and I think I'm going to orient it this way, but you can orient it however you like. And I'm going to use one of the stickers, just to have something different. So, um, let's do the You Are Loved. And I'm going to have to put this in front of me a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And since this is a circle, it doesn't really, you know, matter where, where you put it. You can always just turn it for it to be straight, but I just want to eyeball kind of where I'm at within that circle. And that's where we landed, so that's what we got. All right. And then I think I'm going to use some of the flowers and toppers and things like that on this one. Um, put a little twine behind the back of it. So... Let's see. I'll just do this topper part first because that's going to sit on top of the twine anyway. So let's um, put that to the side. And I think I'm going to start with some little leaves. Just, you know, it's not that easy to see that it's a sticker. But what I'm going to do is kind of frame that a little bit out and then add more flowers and things. So let me see what we have here. Just like this. Put this here maybe. And I was going to use the little guys. Let me see if. I can use a larger one. I was just going to use little guy flowers. Let's see. A lot of posies. All right, let me play around with this just a little bit, and I'll be right back. You know what? Why not? All I did was just add one more down here. So I'm just going to glue these down just like I did before. Just take my glue, kind of position them. I'm going to glue everything down, and I'll come back, and we'll add some rhinestones. Okay, I have that there. And then I'm just going to go in and pick out some of these little guys to pop in. Again, put a little glue, just a little extra to help hold these in. And I'll just pick ones that I think would work. Just like that. And that's why I like having a carrier that you can kind of just see through and see what you got going on. Super cute. Okay. So, again, I would just kind of put some glue. 
get my little piece. I am picking it up with the adhesive that's on there too, but just give me that extra with that glue. And I'll go around and do that with all of them. Oh my gosh, those little stones just make it pop. Look how cute. Okay, so I'm gonna pick out a color of twine to go around this. And I guess I could have done that before, but <laughs> we'll, we'll choose it together. I was kind of wanting to go with the green just to try it out, but the white looks really pretty too. Let's go with the green. And this is the one that's more like a raffia. So I'm gonna be careful to remove this because it is like a paper. Okay. So let me get a little amount of this out that I'm basically gonna wrap around and around and I'll be right back. So I just took a moment to wrap this around and around. I did two links and then enough to tie at the end. So to get this on here, I'm just gonna start kind of in the middle. Just go around. This stuff feels really nice, I like it. And if you wanna do enough to make yourself a bow, you know, however it is that you wanna end it, I think I'm just going to tie a little knot and then have the little knot sticking out from behind our little topper. So I do like to have these crisscross. A little bit. And do your adjustments, you know, before you really tie it down. Yeah, where's that going? Like that. And if you want to glue this, you can definitely glue it. I think it'll be okay. And then we bring our topper. So what I'm gonna do is put some dimensional adhesive on the back of this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just gonna hold this here and I have some dimensional adhesive already on the back with the carrier removed. And I'm just gonna eyeball where this is going. Before I really push it down, adjust that. And that's a little bit of a quicker card, no stamping. You know, I just kind of use the, the uh, sticker that was in there and then just uh, pop some of the other little items on. We can trim this down or you can trim it down completely if you don't want it sticking out. I thought it was cute, just leave it there. Um, but look at that, really quick, really easy. And let me bring back my other little pretty. I'll be right back, guys, there they are. So two quick cards. Again, we have the five by seven with a slim line. Really easy to work with. You can do as little as much, bring in other things from other kits or other you know stamps and die sets that you have. So really fun to work with. Thank you so much, Dime Press, for sending these for my review. Um, again, if the links are available, I will have them in the description box, but they will pop in there as soon as the items go live on HSN site. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.